Hey everyone, welcome to another Librarian Let's Plays. Uh, my name is Alex, and today we are going to be playing some multiplayer. And when I say we, it's going to be myself, Alex, and I have Vanessa with me. Vanessa, say hi to everybody. Hey guys! Alright, Vanessa and I are going to be playing Overcooked. And Overcooked is a uh, cooperative uh, multiplayer game. Um, and it's cooperative, but also really chaotic. You work together to try to cook stuff, make food, and try to score as many points as possible. And it's a very fun game, and it's one that we both have experience with, and we played with our friends, and it's a lot of fun, but we're going to try to play together today and see how that works out. Alright, we're going to try to start a whole new game from scratch, and get into that. So, let's show you what Overcooked is all about, and super recommend this for a great party game uh, to play with. And it's also a good co-op game that teaches you teamwork, and working together, and trying to manage your time effectively. So we are excited to start. As soon as Vanessa picks a new game, we'll get started. And we'll get into the tutorial. We're going to start this game entirely from scratch and see how far we get. So we'll try to get as far as we can get in the like 45 minutes or so that we got to work with today. The following is based on actual events. Only the names, places, and vegetables have been changed. Just after tea time. At last! How long I've waited for this moment. The trials we've been through to win this noble prize. Look at it, Kevin. Look, the fabled Necronomnomicon. Kevin is the dog, and he's super cute. And you can pet Kevin. And that's really important. Bark, says Kevin. What? Bark! What do you mean it's dangerous? Don't be silly. This book holds the secret to everlasting culinary greatness. In a large bowl, dissolve the sugar in warm water, then stir in yeast. Allow to prove until yeast resembles a rich, creamy foam. Bark! Mix in salt and oil, then mix in the flour. Knead the dough, cover with a damp cloth. And allow to rise! Rise, rise! <laughs> huh? No, 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 this wasn't supposed to happen. It can't be. It's, uh. The unbred! This game really goes hard with the food puns. And it does have, like, a plot, but it's mostly just for fun. It's a fun story. As my best chefs, or conveniently, the ones that happen to be here, see if you can fend them off. They seem so hungry, set to it! That's how the story starts. We gotta feed them, so we gotta start working together. Alright. So, we are playing Overcooked 2 instead of Overcooked 1. The biggest difference is, in this game, you can throw raw ingredients. And we gotta use that for teamwork. Now, I am the pirate on the bottom, and Vanessa is playing the panda bear on top. If you notice in the top- I gotta get her ingredients. And this game is really important that you communicate well, and you kinda know what what's going on. And it seems pretty simplistic as of now, but it'll get more challenging. In the very top of the screen, you see the orders that we have to do. All the orders have to be put on a plate, so they can go through. The faster you get them done, the better points you get. Get more ingredients. Always gotta be given ingredients. And you'll be making a whole bunch of different food today. Oh, sorry, my bad.
And sadly, I can't go over to the side to help cut. Um, the controls are kind of simplistic, but it can be kind of tough sometimes. And we do have a time limit. So that causes a little bit of panic. Okay, we got that one. Oh, I need tomato, sorry. I gotta grab the tomato. We can probably got one more. Alright. That's probably the last one. So we throw ingredients with the final seconds we got. That was a tutorial level, so it can be kinda crazy. But it'll get tougher. The horde is too ravenous! Bark bark! No, don't be a hero, Kevin! Quick! Back to the castle! Retreat! And depending how far we get and the time we got, you're gonna see some pretty wacky levels. The tutorial was nice and easy, but it starts to get... Oh, it gets challenging later on. You may be my best chef, but you have much to learn if you're to conquer that, conquer that appetite. Me and Kevin can keep those fiends from entering the castle for now. But if the unbred spread out from the castle grounds, I fear for the Onion Kingdom. We must act quickly. Mark! Why, of course, the Royal Sage Coach. She's just been upgraded. It seems that once again it's up to you chefs to save our kingdom. So take my wheels, hit the road, learn some new recipes, and for the love of onions, learn to cooperate better. All right. Let's get out to the world. Vanessa, did you want to pet Kevin? I interrupted you. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Kevin's a very good dog. So we're out on the road, and you need to get stars by getting a certain number of points, and then you need those stars to advance. So you can keep retrying levels and doing better and learning and getting better. We're going to try to get through as many levels as we can today. Even if some of the levels go uh, go a little south, well, we're going to try our best. And a lot of them have new recipes and all sorts of different kind of changes. Alright. So we'll be making sashimi. Alright. So I'm going to cut up fish and Vanessa will cut up shrimp. Or she'll stay on that side, I'll try to stay on this side. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> you gotta try to have some level of communication. But it can be tough. Because you're like, oh, I can do this! Oh, wait, no, they're gonna do that. And it adds to the chaos. This game is possible to play single player um, with you, like, switching between two chefs. But it's definitely a game that's meant to be played multiplayer. Now we gotta make fishies. Oh, we need lots of fishies. Alright. I'm gonna keep cutting up fishies. The controls can seem kind of simplistic, but it can be tough to be precise with, like, how you're aiming on tables and how you're, um cutting stuff up, and if you make a mistake and you don't cook something for as long as it needs to cook, it can really throw off, like, your momentum. And it starts to get more complicated as you need to do more and more in the kitchen. Uh, plate. And it's important to dash and move. And I think you can put stuff out of order, but it kind of ruins like your um, like multi multiplier score. If you do the orders in the order, I think you get extra like tip. You get extra tips, so you get extra points. So while they're asking for fishies and I'm taking my sweet time, Vanessa just like, oh, I got a shrimp. So now it's all shrimp, so I'll try to help. Put some plates down. Ooh, 
Oh, I can get one more fish. Okay. I got one fish that's riding there. Time up. So if you do mess up an order, like if you if you do an order and it doesn't have everything on there, so let's say if we like hand in a salad in the tutorial and only had like tomato on it and nobody wanted that, then you get an order fail, so you get minus points. But we'll go to the next level after this. And you'll see how the stages kind of evolve, and like the roles you have to play in the kitchen also evolve. So that was just cutting. So, like, the tutorial and the first level are pretty similar, and then they start start piling up extra stuff. And we only have two people right now, so the roles are kind of easily defined. But if you get like four people playing at the same time, ooh, it can get messy. Alright, so we're into World 1-2, and the kitchens are always changing too. The kitchens don't remain, like, static. They also change, and they get pretty ridiculous. So in this level, we're going to be making some sushi. So for this one, we're learning something new. It's going to be cooking rice. So, I will be on top and I'll cut up the ingredients, and Vanessa can be on the bottom and she'll cook rice. And for rice, you have to put it in the cooking pot and you have to leave it on heat for a certain amount of time. And when it's ready, it's able to be put somewhere. But again, everything needs all the different ingredients, and for these you can put them in any order. Uh, some of them they have to be put in specific orders, though. Alright, another one. And I'm gonna try to make sure to put the plates in the same areas. Uh, so we kind of know where they're at. That one's ready to go. Nice. Ah. We gotta take that off. And there are also obstacles in levels too. Like you see, people are just walking around, kind of getting in our way, not just us. Put some fish down here. And everything also needs some seaweed on it too. Everyone's ready to go. Cool. Ready to go. And you can't, you can throw only raw ingredients in this game, you can't throw plates or something like that, or you can't throw, like, cooked items, I'll, I'll get it. So make sure it does it. If you leave something on the fire too long, it uh, t turns into fire, and you have to put it out with the fire extinguisher, or it spreads. And I'm hoping you don't get an example of that today, but uh, no guarantees. Ooh, almost handed in the wrong one. Oh, no! no. <laughs> and there's also a trash can where you throw out bad orders, and Vanessa accidentally <laughs> threw uh, something that was good over there. We got two over here we could probably get done. Ah, we're kind of getting in the way of each other. Uh, I don't think we have... Oh, we could probably have time more. One more. That one over there. Ah, we just missed. Yeah. Oh, we got the Onion King and Kevin celebrating. Did pretty good. Oh yeah, you keep playing, you unlock new chefs. 
They don't have any special powers, they just look cute. Everybody has their favorite chef. I like to play with a whole bunch of different chefs, and Vanessa seems to be a panda fan. Panda or cat? Mmm, cat, yeah. So the more you play, the more you unlock. You unlock extra levels, you unlock new chefs. And it's, you could do, now this is story mode. I think you can also do arcade mode where you can just play any level. And versus mode where you can play like 2v2. And you try to get the best scores possible. If you're feeling a little more competitive. All right, on to a new level. And that starts to get more complicated because on this stage, there's gonna be a sink and we're gonna have to wash dishes too. And washing dishes is, is that's just another another layer of challenge. So we got dirty plates, they can be washed up, it's the same button as just like cutting something up. Alright, so I'm on the left and I need to throw ingredients. So I'll keep throwing rice to Vanessa and she'll keep cooking that. And we'll put plates in the middle to add ingredients. So we're just doing basic shrimp by itself, and we're making like cucumber rolls. So I'll try to do those in order. Ah. Can't forget the seaweed, those are good to go. And uh, since Vanessa's on that side, she'll be washing plates. Cut up some shrimpies. Okay. Grab that one so I can hand in some shrimpies. Awesome, awesome. Luckily, I don't think you can throw plates in the trash. Because that would be very unfun. I need more cucumbers when I get the chance. You. And if you're skilled enough with the throwing, you can try to catch things, but it's kind of tough. Plates, we'll get shrimpies. And I'll need more cucumbers when you get the chance. Let me try to wash some dishes too. Thank you. We got a lot of uh, cucumber rolls in a row, so we'll keep trying to focus on that. Uh, let me throw some rice. And if you take too long on an order, it kind of falls behind, so it's like an order's failed and you lose points. And it can be really tough when you got a lot in a row. Alright, we got that one. Good. That's good. Let me wash some dishes. Oh, I'll cut some stuff up. <laughs> Alright, I got the plate. Uh, if you could just clean one more plate, I think we can get one more shrimp. Ah, darn. <laughs> Alright. So we got, still got the stars. So that's good, we're going forward. I start to panic when the time starts to run out. Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh. Circles, like, I don't know what to do, I don't Yeah, know yeah, to do. yeah. Don't know what to prioritize, and there's so many different things to look at. So it can, it can get pretty wild. But a real quick, it's a lot of fun, and... If you're looking for something where it has the kind of chaos of, like, Mario Party or Super Smash Brothers, but you're not really, like, going at it the entire time with each other, give Overcooked a try. It's really, it's really good. Um, but even still, there are going to be times where... Oh, we got a hidden level? Awesome. But even still, there are going to be times where you 
kind of argue a little bit with the people you're trying to cooperate with. Alright. Uh, do we want to give the hidden level a try? No, let's go for it. Okay, let's, let's go over this way. I don't think I've done this one before, so it's going to be new. Uh, the hidden levels are normally pretty challenging, so let's see... Ooh, okay. Not done this one, so we'll see how this works. And the scores for the stars? Pretty big. So let's see how we do. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna seam stuff, we're gonna chop up meat and vegetables. Mix with flour and then steam together. Let's give that a try. I'm on the left side, I got the mixers over here. So I need to cut stuff up. And Vanessa has the flour, so we need that put together. So if you give me some flour. Okay. Awesome, awesome. And we'll try to put it on plates in the middle. I have the sink over here, so I'll have to wash dishes. Oh, that's right, it has to be steam, that's right. I forgot about that. I'm not so experienced with these kind of levels. Right. Wait. And we gotta wait for the bowl, so it's uh, it gets real complicated. I know. It's a lot to it's a lot to try to keep together. All right. All right you'll probably want to make some fish. Those are next in line. Ugh, I can't go over there and grab the dirty plate, sadly. So I might as well use my time to try to get ahead of some stuff. Awesome. Got some plates. There's a wash. Cool. We got plates here. I'll leave some flour when you get the chance, but you got a lot. <laughs> Focus on fish. We got another fish order coming up. I don't know why I dropped it. <laughs> when you get the chance, I'll need more flour. You're doing good, though. Alright. Awesome, thank you. Alright, uh, focus on fish. Focus on... Yeah, fish and dishes. Probably fish and try to cook the meat. We probably... Probably get the fish done.
I know, the music- It gets a- uh, it gets all sorts of intense. So, it got two stars on that, which is pretty good. But, Vanessa definitely had way more to do than I did. We got a chef. And we only got two stars on that, so it's like... We could dive back in and try for three now that we know a little more, and try to revamp our strategy, but we're gonna keep going. Try to show you as many worlds as possible in the probably about 20, 25 minutes we got left. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying watching some Overcooked. Again, it is such a fun game to play with friends. And it's a good pick up and play game, so you don't really have to teach them too much, just like what button does what. the next level and this one introduces something else that you'll really need some work with this level has conveyor belts no. <laughs> and it can be really tough when you're trying to put stuff in a specific location and you got to use the dash button also to get the most out of it so it's important to dash i think that's a very important thing, so, okay. So, I'll, I'll do rice this time, and Vanessa can stay up top and uh, cut some vegetables. So I'll do rice, and I'll uh, clean plates. And again, we are making cucumber rolls, and we're making uh, sushi with fish, too. So, similar recipes, but slightly different, you know, ingredients. And everything in the middle is gonna need rice, so I'm just gonna put rice everywhere. I know, the conveyor belts really mess up where you're trying to, like, like, aim your food. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna need, uh, seaweed, too. And we got a lot of stuff done. I'll get seaweed. And I'll start handing these in. Alright, gotta get more rice cooking. And the plates are going to be coming back, too. Everyone good to go? Or are you going to... I'll hand it in. Alright, so we're going to need uh, cucumbers for the next one. Oh, my God. Get the rice before it. Sometimes you just got to place stuff down and try to get something else. Really got to get these plates done. And we don't want to try to block each other, too. Uh, grab the plates, put them over there. I need to get rice cooking. Right, that one's good. Oh, this is about to be done. Put that down. Need to get plates. Plate, got rice for that. But can't let that set on fire. <laughs> Alright. So now all my rice cooking pots have been placed like in the middle, so I gotta bring them all back. Ah, oh, I'm trying to go this way. And I also got headphones, so I can't hear what Vanessa's saying most of the time. <laughs> We need plates, like, real bad. Alright, we need cucumber. Let's get rice. Alright, I gotta get plates. Got one plate here. Try to get one more play, and hopefully we get one more done. Alright, place there. I just need seaweed. Alright. I got it, I got it. Okay. That's probably all we're gonna get done. Oh my gosh. 
All right. We got three stars on that. We're gonna keep moving forward. Oh my goodness. And it really makes you think about all, like, how do I best make use of my time? I had to switch between, oh, we need plates right now, or we're running out of plates, or no, we, I really need to get some rice cooking, and while the rice cooks, I can do this, this, this. But, yeah, Overcooked 1, I don't think you can throw any raw ingredients. So Overcooked 2, they let you start doing that. I gotta make sure to have the switch. Alright, World 1-5, alright. Yes. Yes, as Vanessa said, this is a hot hot balloon level, so kitchens are going to take you to all different places, and this hot balloon level is very, very tricky, and you'll see why. And so both Vanessa and I have experience with these levels, but even still, it's like, still getting to us. Alright, so we're making pasta, so we need to... Um, put tomato in a saucepan, and we also have to put pasta into a pot so it can boil. All right, so let's get. I'll get. I'll get rice. You stay up top, and I'll stay down here. So I'll do pasta. here. Alright. So that's how this level works, is you really have to make use of passing everything. Because it's all going to go up and down as the wind blows. And when you're getting used to a game, you're not going to be able to do that so much. Let me hand that in. Bring in more pasta. So now it's going to my side. Plates too. Uh, and, oh yes, and you can fall off this level. But don't worry, you respawn. But if you fall off with anything you're carrying, it's gone again. Ah, no, I need to get that. Okay, got that. I'll keep doing pasta and dishes. Got it? Okay. And if you throw inaccurately, you can throw uh, raw ingredients off the stage. Got that there. Get some more pasta going. Good to go. Get that. Pasta ready to go. Awesome, awesome. Ah, want to stay on my side. For later. Also for later. Alright, got plates on the way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Alright, I got a plate there. Slam that in. You can throw it. <laughs> oh, let me throw you some tomatoes. Ah, want that one plates. Time for maybe one more. Awesome, awesome. Uh, are we gonna have time for this one? Nah. It's all good though, we did pretty decent.
Oh my goodness. Alright. We got a new chef! We got a kitty cat! The chefs on this game are so cute. I love all the different chefs you can be. All the little chef avatars. We got like 10 minutes left, so let's see if we can get through maybe like two or three more levels. Almost made it through World 1. I don't know how many worlds there are. I haven't made it all the way through this game with friends. I think it's six. Six levels? Okay. Six worlds. Six worlds, got it. So this game's it's got, got a good amount of stuff. All right, we're going to another Hapaloon level. And yeah, this one's also interesting, but I don't want to spoil the surprise on this one either. All right, we're gonna be making salad. Yeah, that's a lettuce, tomato. Oh, darn. <laughs> I got mixed up, I thought I was at a cutting board. I'll hand in this one. More lettuce. This one has little fires that happen and you gotta run around them. Otherwise they push you aside. I'll wash plates. That one's not ready. Some more lettuce. Ah, oh, don't eat that. No, it's blocking the plates. <laughs> I need the plates. Oh, sorry. Alright, I got that one. Oh, we just need lettuce for these next two. It's all the way on the other side, you gotta go all the way around. No, I don't want tomato! <laughs> I'm sorry. This one just needs lettuce. I went through. Everything's moving with the wind, everything's shaking. Ah. We need cucumber. There's one just lying there. <laughs> Look out, lettuce. Ah. There's the cutscene. So everything's changed! And we have a whole new order that we have to get done. So let's try to get done with these salads, and then we can move on to making uh, cucumber rolls and sushi again. We say lettuce. On that one. Let's hand those in. Plates. Alright, uh, after this salad, um, I'll do rice, and you can keep cutting. And I'll try to do dishes, too. Alright, we need lettuce. So keep up with the dishes. Alright, now we're swapping to rice. So I'll try to do rice and dishes. Ah, and they're on conveyor belts. Rice is cooking. Ah, dish. Alright, that one's ready to go. That one's re Oh, that one needs uh, seaweed. Plates. Hopefully get two more. Oh nice, thank you. <laughs> ah. Alright, 
Uh, I want to use fish. That's apparently the last one. Oh, goodness. Alright. I think we've got time for one more level after this. Oh, man. Like an adrenaline rush every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I played through these levels with, like, friends separately probably at least, like, five times, but still, every time. Oh, it's a whole lot of fun. Oh, I do love this game. This is definitely a go-to with, like, me and my friends. Definitely a good go-to game. And getting controls. Simple, but it's tough to get the exact. Try to be exact with everything. Go down here, we gotta listen to what the king says, and hopefully we have one more level before we're done for today. Alright, King. King and Kevin. What's up, King? Oh my word, what an adventure you've been on and you've only just begun. You still have much to learn about cooperation, and we can only keep the unbred at bay for so long. Head out into the wild country. I hear there are flavors there that can satiate the most ravenous appetite. Mark, don't hurry me. But he's right. You must go now and bring back more delicious teamwork. Mark, there's no time to lose. Go pet Kevin. Oh, he's such a good boy. Get our last level in. Kevin's so cute. He's such a cute dog. Got one last level for today. Hope you've had fun watching. It's been fun to play. Oh my goodness, this game's so fun. Definitely check out from the library if you want to give it a try. Play with friends, family, people who have a lot of experience with video games or people who are new. The controls are simple and easy to get into. Uh, here's World 2. We're gonna be our last level for today. And as you can see, the kitchens get wilder and wilder. We're going from hot air balloon in the sky. We're gonna be on the sea. We're gonna be on a river down here. Alright. It's important to really get down the throwing over here. On this level, we're making chicken, so I'm on the bottom, so I gotta throw the ingredients up to Vanessa, and she has to cut them up. We're also making some fries. So, I'm gonna throw lots of raw ingredients. And then I gotta fry them down here. So they're all ready to go. Nice, thank you. So, we'll just try to keep you loaded with raw ingredients. Oh, no! Okay, good. <laughs> ah. that in. Oh no! <laughs> uh, no! Need more ingredients. Keep putting out plates too. Oh no! <laughs> Potatoes, my chicken. Ah, don't want that to get yet. Don't want it to get burnt. Ow. <laughs> ah, the angled throw. Fries. Ah, uh, starting to get all, all confused. Sorry, you got nothing to cook. You got nothing to cut. <laughs> Gotta go quick. 
Ow. Alright, I... It's, it's on me now. No, no! Oh, I almost got one more. Alright. Alright. We got three stars on that. But... Oh, I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching uh, Vanessa and I play Overcooked 2. Uh, it's a lot of fun to show you all these different video games. It's a lot of fun to do some multiplayer, too. Overcooked 2 is a lot of fun, and any of the games, there's Overcooked 1 and Overcooked 2, and then they're coming out now with Overcooked All You Can Eat, which I think is just going to be on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, so the newest consoles, and I think they're still going to be on maybe PS4 or Xbox One. Those are the newest, and they combine the two games into one as some new features, but they are a whole lot of fun, and we love playing them. So... Hope you had a lot of fun with this library and let's play for today. But we will see you next time for another awesome video game adventure. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around in more Orland Park Library programming. So for me and Vanessa, we're going to say bye. bye.